Okay, we're on the riveting video. We're discussing rivets. It's going to be riveting. The joke here is as a metal worker or as a leather worker or actually anyone who's doing riveted assemblies, everyone's like, oh, it's riveting. Ha 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 ha. And you're like, yeah, because that's how we stick things together. And today was a lot of riveting. Today will be a lot of riveting, which is what we're going to talk about now. It's sort of a chicken and egg problem. If I don't tell you now, you're going to ask why I didn't tell you sooner. But if I wait to tell you later, you're going to be like, why didn't you tell me this before? But I don't know what I'm doing. So watch the video when you're ready. Uh, ask questions when you're ready. I'm glowing again. Whatever. So we got two types of rivets. Where's the camera? There's the camera. We got the solid rivet. This one's copper. Hold on. Ever wish you had an extra hand? I think my my role model is Ganesha here. So we've got the solid rivet. That's this one. And then we have the hollow rivet. That's this one. And if you look down the center, you can see... Hold on. You can see that this one has a tube, and this one is clearly not a tube. Okay, so that's important when we go to do our assemblies, because the tubey one is for softer materials. It's for leathers, so you want something like that. And it's going to go through your, cop, your, your leather here, and it's going to make a little seam and come out the other side and hold it together. Now this is great because if you're battling demons, orcs, whatever this will act as a hard stop for their blade but leather is really squishy so you want to put in a lot or you want to add some sort of metal plate or stripping to attach to leather is squishy metals generally aren't we're going to use steel it's not um, so we have to take advantage of a gradient where the leather is softer the steel is harder and we want to hold them together so that the leather can still be soft, that's going to protect your skin, and the metal can still be hard, that's going to protect your body from your assailant with their weapon, you know, whoever's coming at you with, let's just hope it's like a cardboard tube, but, uh, you know, if it's an actual sword, we, we'd like it to, you know, keep your arm attached. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll find you at my other job, and I don't want to talk about my other job right now. It's That would be bad. Okay, so, here we go. There's a camera. Boop. We've got a smooth shank with a wide flange. This is a flange. See how wide it is? We're going to have a diagram talking about what rivets do and how they work. So this wide flange is going to go on the soft side of your material. It's going to spread out the load so that the leather or the plastic or whatever you're using doesn't tear. And then we have this small tip. Boop, boop. Right there. Camera work. So we have a small tip right there, okay? And that's going to hammer over it, and it's going to widen and get larger and larger. So you're going to take this little shank, and you're going to try and get it to come out wider and wider. And that, if you can see, where are we? Where are we here? If you can see right here, is wider than our shank. So we have our hammered over rivet, and we have our shank, and you'll notice that these are not the same size. Okay. Okay. So, what we've discussed is there are two types of rivets we're going to use. We have hollow rivets and we have solid rivets. And the solid rivets are meant to join metal to something, whether it be another metal or a softer material. And then we have the hollow rivets, and that's for sticking soft things to soft things. Okay. I hope that clarifies anything. Let me know if you have any questions.